What's going on, you guys? This is Andrew Roboto, 2021 here, and welcome to Five Nights at Peach's Castle. Or judging by the title and, of course, the character herself on screen, this is based off of this game. A, this is a FNAF fan game based off of Princess Peach, and it is also a Five Nights at Nintendo fan game and Five Nights at Warriors fan game. Um. And as you can tell, it is in Peach's castle and everything. The graphics, including the castle and Peach herself, is from Super Mario 64. Um, and as you can tell, Peach is glitching. I don't know if it's a bug or something, or if it's supposed to be in the game, but she's glitching and becoming Toad all of a sudden, and Toad's on the screen all of a sudden, too. But anyways, without further ado, we'll start a new game. Let's see what's that happens for us. I forget who this game is made by, but I will look on GameJoel, and I'm going to look on GameJoel, now after the video, to let you know. But anyways, let's start a new game with the other offer for us. We would like all employees to be on the lookout for a woman in a pink dress, which is Princess Peach, obviously. White eyes, if at all seen in your location, use some sort of distraction, such as an audio cue of some kind. Doing so in a timely fashion will allow employees to survive. Doesn't say who it's from, but it says note number one, which is the note for night one. This is all familiar because these are. This is definitely from Mario sixty four. Okay, can I skip it? How do I skip it? Oh, I press space. Okay, night one. Okay, we got cameras. So how, what's the audio cure? Oh, we have a 2DS we can use to check the cameras. Nice. So we have three cameras to check on the 2DS. And play audio. Okay. So to get rid of, to keep Peach at bay, we have to play an audio cue. And Peach is on cam one. Like I said, Everything in this game is familiar because it's from Mario. This is all from Mario Super Mario 64. Okay, Peach is coming in, so I assume when she enters the castle, she will go to Cam 2, and I have to keep her on Cam 1 or 2 if she were to go to any of the corresponding cameras. Okay. I wonder what the audio noise is. Okay, it just, it's just t screaming. <laughs> Jesus, I thought I got rid of Peach. I used the audio cue. Do I have to like use it in the same camera to keep her there or what do I do? Jesus, I thought I got rid of Peach. Okay, I think when Peach comes into the room, I have to use the audio cure on audio cue on cam one to get rid of her. I think that's what I gotta do. I could be wrong though. I do like the 2DS though, it looks pretty cool. Okay, so do I have to play it on cam one when she's in the room or if she's in another camera? I'm trying to figure that out. Because in most games that have an audio cue, um, like with Final Fantasy Freddy's 3 for Springtrap, you have to like play it on a certain camera to, to lure them away from you. Okay, figured it out. So when Peach um, enters the room, 
which she will enter the room when she leaves Cam 2, we have to play the audio and Cam 1 to send her back. Alright, figured it out. Perfect. And then, I don't know who's going to be going to Cam 3, but Peach only is seen in Cams 1 and 2. The nice thing is we have unlimited power, so I can just stare at the camera all I want because... Or 2DS, as it's called in this game. The 2DS. Without having to put it down to deal with anyone in the office. Which right now, um, we don't have to deal with anyone in the office. Um, I don't know if we're going to have to on later nights. I guess I'll just have to rely, find out in the notes. Because right now we're only dealing with Peach. Okay, so she's in Cam 2, so when she leaves Cam 2, she will come into my room. And then we gotta go to Cam 1 to get rid of her. Okay, I don't know why there's screaming used for an audio cue, but it's really weird. There we go. We made it to 6 a.m. These are definitely fast nights. I definitely like it because it makes it less stressful. Okay. Okay, so we're on to night two. So this is this is note number two we gotta read. Okay. We'd like all employees to watch out for a mushroom-like entity, which is which is toad, obviously. Faceless yet dangerous. It can sense where you are at all times, and it can and cannot be stopped if they detect where you are. Clicking on the camera they are on seems to take care of them somehow. Just be quick and be safe. Okay. So for Toad, we have to click on the cameras repeatedly to keep them away from me. Okay. That mechanic definitely reminds me of... um. Of Final Fantasy Warriors 3 when you're in the bedroom. In the, where you're in the bedroom and have to click on the camera repeatedly to create a static sound to keep Wario away from you. However though, um, that's what you gotta do. However, though, you gotta switch the cameras to get rid of Donkey Kong, because Donkey Kong is a hallucination in that game. Okay. Okay, why does it say night one if it's if this is night two? That's a bug. Okay, so where on the cameras do I gotta click? Do I just keep clicking on the cameras repeatedly to get rid of them, or what do I do? Oh. Okay, so when Toad's on the camera, we have to click on him to get rid of him. That definitely reminds me of Tubby Land Return. That definitely reminds me of Tubby Land Return, where we had to click on Tinky Winky to get rid of him on night four. When you first deal with him on I-4. Okay, and trust me. Toad's voice clips are from Mario Kart 64. It's all familiar. Yeah, this is all familiar. Literally, the gameplay is just from Mario Super Mario 64 and Mario Kart 64. Okay, so. Dealt with Toad. Toad will appear on any one of the three cameras, so I gotta be checking all three of them. And at least Toad has a voice clip to let him to let us know when he's here, which I appreciate that actually because that's helpful. 
Peach. Ah! Yeah. Yeah, thank you for your screaming, Toad. It's very funny. Yeah, that's Toad when he spins out in Mario Kart 64, like the voice clips. When he spins out after being hit by like an item or an obstacle on the course. Peach's sound cues is obviously her opening the door and moving. Okay, I'm looking. Up, Toad. Be gone, Toad. Be gone. Be gone, Toad. Be gone. And we beat night two. Alright, so another fast night. Since these are fast nights, we'll do night three next. Hang on, I gotta print. Oh. Okay, note number three. Okay, so this is for night three, obviously. For note number three that we have, there is another entity that employees need to worry about now. Now that the virus has spread to an island of dinosaur-like creatures, one has entered our establishment, which is obviously... Which, of course, the dinosaur is... I assume it's either going to be Yoshi, Yoshi or Birdo. Because they're both dinosaurs, so... Um, it's going to be one of them. If it should enter your office, simply, simply put, use his position to deal with it accordingly with the jammer. Using left to deal with it if it's on the left side, and right for vice versa. Okay. So we're dealing with a dinosaur, which is either Yoshi or Birdo, assumingly. If it appears in the office, um, we have to use a jammer. If it's on the left side or on the right side, we have to use a jammer. Okay. Oh, finally it says night three. <laughs> it's, it didn't say night two when, it's, when I was doing night two. It just said night one. So that's definitely a bug. Okay. Okay, so Yoshi's going to be coming from Cam 3. I think he's coming from Cam 3 because he starts he starts on Cam 3. Alright, so... Oh, Toad. Okay, so for Yoshi... We're going to be dealing with him in the office. And if he's on the left or right side, we have to use the jammer. And Yoshi will be coming from Cam 3 when he enters the room. So, yeah. So, we have to use the jammers. Yeah, so... So, I'm not going to be able to stare at the cameras the whole time on the 2DS. That's only... That was only for nights 1 and 2. Okay, checking for Yoshi. There he is. Now to look for Peach. Don't look toad already. Okay, ah! check for Del Toad. Now I gotta look be on the lookout for Yoshi because he's about to come into the room. He pretty much has the same sound cues as Peach. Something I've noticed. Yoshi has the same sound cues as Peach, where he just enters the room and then walks in. I assume Yoshi goes down that square, which looks like a chimney when he enters. Yeah, goodbye, Toad. Okay, Peach. She's on cam two. Gotta deal with her. Yoshi starts from Cam 3 and then makes his way to the office.
a peach. And we beat night three. There you go. Night three completed. Okay. So, we will take on nights four and five in the next... Wait. Oh, it just jumps right into night four? Okay. Alright, so we will take on night four, nights four and five in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you have given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. Be sure to follow me on TikTok and hit the bell on there to receive all notifications as well. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.